All right, gentlemen, these are in the house. Hey, Cubby. Cousin Marv, thanks for the drink, huh? Thanks a lot, Marv. In Brooklyn, money changes hands all night long. And it's not the kind of money that you can deposit in a bank. You hand over a drop. But all that money needs to end up somewhere. They call it a drop bar. You just hide the entire city's dirty money right in plain sight. All your money in the bag. Do you know what you're doing? Do you know whose money you're jacking? Fill the bar! You don't see anything? Nah. You know, that's, that's this neighborhood, right? I heard that Cousin Marv doesn't know the bar. Some hard guys do. You're not a hard guy. Yeah, we had a crew back in the day when we was young. Marv, he thought he was a tough guy. Then the neighborhood changed. It wasn't enough to be tough no more. You know, you had to be mean. You know this guy? Oh. Find my money. Find my money. You need to see this, Marv. No, I don't need to see what's in that bag. No, don't no, look at that, don't look at that. You're still in the life. No, no, I just tend the bar. You ever go around to the front of the bar and take a look at the names on the sign? Oh, that's my name, because I used to own it once. They pressed, you blinked, it's over. It's been over for a while now. I'm not this, and I'm not them. Where is your cousin Marv? I walked into a place people set up straight. They noticed. I was respected. I was feared. And that meant something. Are you doing something desperate? Are you doing something that we can't clean up this time? There's some sins that you commit that you can't come back from. is either going to die or is the criminal mastermind behind this entire heist. I don't know why they showed that puppy so much. It was adorable, but it makes me a little worried for the movie at whole if the people cutting the trailer were like, better stick more puppy in it. Uh, as for the movie itself, uh, it makes me think of an interesting comparison. It makes me feel that perhaps uh, Tom Hardy is the new Joaquin Phoenix, another very talented actor who kind of does seems to lose his way in terms of his career path. Uh, I mean, Joaquin Phoenix, before he hooked up with, um, you know, these great directors like Spike Jones and uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, you know, he made some, like, uh, like this movie with Mark Wahlberg, like, I, I forget the name of it, like, We Are the Night or something, about these brothers in Boston with some uh, railroad, you know, the railway at night. Uh, you know, these really small, kind of tiny movies that an actor of that caliber really has no business making. I mean, for a long time, they were Mark Wahlberg's bread and butter, and an actor like Wal Mark Wahlberg makes those movies to show that he can act. But everybody knows that Joaquin Phoenix can act, and everybody knew that when he was making those movies, and everybody knows that Tom Hardy can act. Uh, he's already, I feel he's already done this. He's already done his time in this type of movie, which is what got him noticed by Christopher Nolan and, and Hollywood in general. He did this over in the UK. And even a film like Locke, that seems a little more am, uh, artistically ambitious. You know, it's in a car for the entire period of time. Uh, he's trying out another crazy accent, although I guess he's trying out an accent here. I'd be like, Tom, you have to judge scripts beyond whether or not they allow you to try out a different accent. Uh, so a film like this, I just feel it's not a good use of his time. I mean, he has the new, the new Mad Max, the reboot coming up. Uh, it's been so delayed, taking so long it was delayed to shoot. They've shot it, now it's taking so long to get in and uh, in, out of post. Uh, hopefully that will get him back on, on the front lines of Hollywood. But until then, he seems to be just killing time. I think that, I'm sure this is a fine film, James Gandolfini, you know, uh, with all due respect to him, rest in peace. It looks like he's doing a very nice job here. And also I'm impressed with Numi Rapace's accent. She seems to do a very nice job. But I just feel that this is not a film that's going to help Tom Hardy professionally or artistically. I feel there's really nothing here for him. Unless there's like some amazing twist here. Uh, but I think the way this trailer is cut, I mean look, the biggest thing I took away from it was a puppy. Uh, but what do you think? What do you think of Tom Hardy's career choices? Uh, some of you argue this point quite vehemently that sometimes actors maybe just want to act. But as I've tried to counter, you know, in videos and in the comments, uh, then th what are they doing in Hollywood? You know, if you just want to act, 
uh, the, the stage is always there, and that's a very exciting place where you can uh, really act, and it's much more of a challenge to do it every day. But when you get into the business of movie making, the business of movie making, uh, you know, you have to compete and you have to be a box office draw, and I don't understand why you would want to be in that arena if you weren't going to play the game. Uh, so, Tom, I mean, maybe this is the best work Tom Hardy can get, but I'm, I would think that unlikely uh, off after The Dark Knight Rises that he couldn't get something a little better than this. Uh, but again, what do you guys think? Is it something you think you would want to see? I'm really, really surprised if anybody wanted to see this in theaters, unless they were like a huge Tom Hardy fan. And what do you think of that puppy? Victim or criminal mastermind? Write your vote down below. Thank you for tuning in to my review. Thank you for those who asked me to review this trailer. I really appreciated it, uh, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the results. Thanks for watching. Bye.